Where are we going today, guys? To a fish swap in Spring Grove, Pennsylvania. So, how are we doing today? We are going to a fish swap. We are, we are. First one of this year. Have I, I don't think, have I been to a fish swap? I don't think I have. No, and we're not taking any fish to swap, so we're gonna swap cash for fish. There you go. Apparently it's allowed. We're gonna check. Now I've been to a frag swap. Yes, you have been to a frag swap. But I don't know, did they have any fish, Dave? I don't they think they did. This. Did they? They had yellow tanks, had blue tanks, around this. Okay. What kind of fish are you looking for, David? Because you want chiclets or cichlids? Hard, hard, hard. Well, it just. This is a panel. Do you say cichlid or you say chiclid? What do you it's say? It's a cichlid club, so I'm looking for some blue and guna for the and guna tank with, to go with the red jeepers that we got from. Clems Aquatics? Mm hmm. And then. Thank I you, might, Jeff. Yep, and Jeff, and then I might look for some um, fish that like soft water, like some Central American, South American plecos, South American cichlids, things like that, for the 150, because I wanted to do a native tank. However, the crazy amount of tannins in that tank, you can barely see through it, it's so dark. Yeah, that has to do with that giant piece of wood you Well, I think there. you needed to. Um... Do a power wash it first. No, power wash won't take any of the tendons out. Of yeah, but I had all the moths growing on. Yeah, but that's or... what he wanted. Absolutely cool looking. I have to say, we do have some pretty views in Pennsylvania. I do reckon we do. Okay, we're coming up to a stop sign, guys. And it's always important to make a complete stop sign. Here's I don't recommend a... making a complete stop sign. I recommend making a complete stop. Well, yeah, a complete stop at the stop sign. So, what do they say? Do you see the blue hair over there? Where? Yeah, it's just fake. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay, well, we definitely made a very complete stop. Lots of hills, lots of farms. Oh, there's a bicyclist. There's a little Crazy Chan, we just are thinking of you as this fish swap is in your old hometown. Your old stomping grounds, the old neck of the woods here with a stinky paper mill. I bet you don't miss that bad boy and that stench. Yeah, Woo! I think they missed that. Yeah, for sure. That's why they moved away. They traded it for the beautiful ocean. Well, there's a discus store down there by their house, so we're Ew. probably going to get a tour of that for you guys. Well, that'd be cool. Is it Chan Man? Check out the fish store yeah, down his way. Yep, he said he was email us the video. And look for some shark teeth. Oh, here you already went. No, he said he will. Oh. Well, we want to go down there and see it ourselves. This is true. Major bonus. I did my good deed for <laughs> Thank you. Sure. Uh, so they are from Thailand. I 
Oh, there's three of them. Two females, one male. They look really nice. 45 bucks? Yeah, that's not bad. So the question is, do you want to go? Hmm. Are you wanting to go to that first? Oh, with the, the pistol? Yeah. Can you put them in your bag? Yeah. Oh. Your bag there? Yeah? No, thank you. Oh. He brought his own bag. After the Keystone Clash, he was prepared. That's a professional right here. <laughs> Mum's Mom, still learning. <laughs> You'll teach her though, right? Yeah. Maybe. Well, you need a sticker for your wall. Yeah, that's true. That's another $45. Yeah. That's Thank you, guys. Thank you. He keeps fish. Any fishes? Yes. <laughs> yep. Well, we got to feed the Oscars and the uh, other fish, so we usually get like trout, and then we'll break it down oh. for over the winter, so okay. they'll eat that. That's clever. That's a good idea. Yeah, it saves a little bit of money some, sometimes. No, you're good. Sorry. What are they? Candler Lifers. Yeah, that's their biggest size. And they well, come in. Oh, uh, there's a Koi Guppies. And you got some. Tiger Hemlers. Uh -huh. They'd make a good nano set. Yeah, they could do good. Oh, these guys are cool little fans. Uh huh, those are nice Guppies. You just do a one gallon, half gallon container like this, and as long as the water cycle that you can actually uh, put in um, a lot of puppy grass or something that's got bacteria on it, and just don't overfeed it. And take the water from your tank. Um, I like the boy guppies down Actually, here. They're pretty. Boy guppies and tiger endlers. They're cool looking. Very pretty. So I think I thought I was recording and I wasn't, so we'll do it again. <laughs> Very cool. These are all smalls. Okay. Small, smalls are $10. And then this is a large. I have okay. larges in almost everything you see. Wow. The larges are $20. Very cool. What do you use? Is that watercolor? Or? Uh, so it's a mixed media. Okay. I use usually it's a colored pencil for the fish. Okay. And then watercolor for the background. Okay. Now this one is alcohol marker for the base of the fish, colored pencil on top. Cool. And then this one is a mixture of all of that. This one's okay. alcohol marker for the fish, color pencil for the detail on the fish, and then watercolor background. Wow, that's so really neat. So you have mixed media, a little bit of everything. Now, do you have all of these fish? I have most of these fish. A few things I haven't kept. Very cool. Very cool. So are these the bristle noses over yep. here? I breed those. I okay. them breeding like rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. And then I have some LT Grey Endlers. They're like a, they're what you would call an end class endler. They're more of a wild type endler. Oh, okay. They're, they're one of my favorite endlers. Or the black bar endler. Very cool. Let's see what's. Is David finding something else? David's always finding something else. Look how talented his artwork is, David. He's like, cool, get me to the real fish. <laughs> I like to bring stuff that transports you. I don't like to stress stuff. Because I breed angel fish, which those I, I got to grow the fry out for myself. And then I'm breeding some Buddha cichlids. Cool. We had some super rice going. Yeah, we do.
What's this one, Dave? Um, the Royal Blacko, $40. Yeah. Yeah, they're very That's a nice girl. Yeah. 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 They grow very slowly. Here's the elbow. Here is a fire eel. Here. Oh, well, you can, it's kind of hard to see them through the plastic. Buenos Aires Tetra. Are you happy with your purchases, David? Well, let's see what you got. I didn't get to see. Uh, oh! You can do an unboxing on the truck. It's so bright out. Fine, I guess I can do it. Can see for a moment. We got a pair of black, black Moscow guppies. Okay. I like that cool. This is the first time I've ever seen a female. How much were they? Too much. Oh dear. Anyways, then we have a little calico um, super red bristle nose. So you don't have one of those? I do not. Then we have a trio of Epistogorama cockatoides double red. Now, have you ever had any? I have. Oh, okay. I've bred them. And then I got two um, uh, caves, because I have a couple male plecos, a couple female plecos, and I don't have any caves. Nice! So you were, what did you, what did you think of the swap? What did mom get? Mom got some snails. <laughs> For one dollar, I'm always the cheap date. Really My cheap. goal's always the expensive date. Hey, I spent zero. I spent I was the money. dollar girl menu, but now you can't even find a dollar menu anymore. Yeah. Pretty much. I don't think even, McDonald's has the dollar menu. Sad. I could be wrong, but I haven't eaten McDonald's in a million years. So, yeah. this is where the fish swap was. It's cute. It kind of looks like a little log cabin. And uh, there's a nice lake over here where the paper mill is. There's tons of geese. The geese should go find a new location with water that's not potentially polluted. But that was, that was neat. I think David's happy with what he got. Thanks for coming with us on the fish swap today. Right. Where are we but going now, guys? it's not where the pets go. I don't know where I saw where the pets go, because it literally has the name pets. They'll start again. Why? Because I wasn't in the What? Where are we going, people? We's going to pet smart. Eyes on the road. Eyes on the road. Well, we went to Sunny Walls. And I got me some vitamins because it's cold flu season. Uh, 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 uh. And ain't nobody got time for that. That's what I say. So follow us along to Pet Smart. Rams? Huh? Are these rams? Rams oh, are, these are fresh cardinals. water. Okay. I have not had any Bengai cardinals. They are cool looking. Yeah, if I could find a mated pair, I'd probably buy them. Now, how many do you need? Do they, are they schooling? Or? Yeah, they can be schooling. They're cool looking. Kind of hard with the um, overhead light. They kind of look like they have a mohawk or something. What do they look like? Like gnarly dude. Ooh, what's going on with these two? Fishy stories. Our 
Okay, so we're in PetSmart now. David was liking the uh, the shars, the cars over here. The little babies. We got some big boys at home. And the are these little sharks, David? Yeah, bailer sharks. So they get big. Huh? Do these bailer sharks get big? A yeah, four and a half. 14 inches. So people buy them and they don't realize how big they get. They do not realize how big they get. But it literally says right on the little tag, I guess, that nobody reads. Does anyone reads that? Clearly people don't. Wow, well, it's only 5.8. Oh, look. They have, oh, what's that? Okay, who's that fish that they're trying to tell you gets that big? All a pl a of the common pleckos we have that they sell well, that's for smart. three or four dollars. I think the fish community would like that someone drew this on here to let you know the pleco is going to get that big, right? But how do you say the big word? Which one? Ple plecos de Thomas. Is that how you say it? Plecos Sound Thomas? Plecosimus. Plecosimus. Well, I'm a noob. It's like you trying yeah, to say... Yeah, I need help with anything or still deciding. Don't look Thank you, though. All right, very good. So are these tiger barbs? Yeah, those are um, glow barbs. Glow barbs. So who's on sale over here? This, Anybody good? Um, these guys are what I was looking for. These at the uh, Sick with Club for the okay. little blue guys. Was, if they were bigger, I'd probably get a few. Well, how how long does it take them to get bigger? Mm, a reasonable time. Maybe a few months. We get... Yeah, what do they eat? Well, here's some cichlids up here. They're bigger, huh? Yes, but those are... Are they mean? Huh? But look at the guy at the top. What's that? At the, at the tippy top. He's like, um... Oh, hold on. The Venustus? Does he look like the ones in the front? Yeah. They got, like, spots? That's giraffe cichlid or Venustus. They're cool looking. They then. are a hafrochroma species, if I'm not mistaken and they would do good with the peacock side. Is that what you were showing me? I think you showed me a picture of them the other day that you liked them, didn't you? Yeah, maybe. And I thought I didn't like, well, they look cool in person. Yeah, wait till they're eight, nine inches big. Whoa. And they are green and nice looking on the sides. So is this them. what we have, these guys here? We have a couple, we have one yellow lap from Ohio Fish Rescue. Okay. Who's down here? These are cool looking. Are the same. I like them. Um, blue cichlids, but they are bigger. So, how do you feel about these guys? I feel like if I have money after getting water conditioner, I'll pick up the He's up. a big one. Yeah, there's that big one, and there's a bigger one in the back, too. Pick up two, three of those guys. Okay. Beautiful beta today at PetSmart. So pretty. Look at this beautiful beta. So pretty. That one's cool looking. Very cool. Hey, hello. How are you, fishy? Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, this one's really pretty. I do like betas, I have to say. So I have a story about betas. I had a beta and I had cats. So I woke up one morning and the beta is not in the, I had it in a vase. And he's not in there. I'm like, oh no, where's the beta? So he was in a little puddle on the kitchen countertop. He must have been smart. He must have pretended like he was dead. So down his breathing. He was still alive. I put him back in the water and he swam so that was pretty neat my other beta story is this i hear, actually i want to look about that it was beautiful you know they said you could have this beta you put him in a vase you get a pretty plant i came home and the plant had killed the beta he got stuck up in the roots he like strangled my beta. i was so sad i was like i try to give you something beautiful to make your home beautiful and to give you oxygen, and it killed him. So that's my sad, tragic story. So one happy ending for the beta, one sad ending. 
but I really do like betas, I have to say. They are very beautiful. Oh, he's cool looking. Very cool looking. Like his fins. Calling all you beta lovers. He's gorgeous. How are you today, Mr. Beta? Are you having a good day? Yeah, that's gonna be a pump face in there because it eats algae. Oh, okay. So, uh, right now he's kind of scared. Okay. Like the camera. He like that. He's hiding. Uh, what's going on? Oh, look at that. Is that a shrimp, David? Yeah. Oh, he's cool. That is really cool. And how long do shrimp live for? Uh, what species is it? Is it a banded shrimp? Coral banded shrimp. Well, you better last a long time for twenty one ninety nine. I don't know how. I like his is. antennas. They're cool. Yeah. Oh, he, oh, look at his little legs. Oh, he is cool. Yeah. So is he eating right now? Maybe. Do you think? Probably not. Well, I'll tell you what, if I had a plethora of dough, I'd take him home with me. He is cool. Now with the fish? No, my shrimp wouldn't annoy him. No? Okay, Dave, so what do we got here? I have a breeding pair of black Moscow guppies. Oh, they're cool. cool. Which tank we put in? They're going in this 10 gallon here with black neons. Are they going to be all right in there? Yeah, we'll be fine. In the neon Are here. we going to upgrade them to another tank later? Or? Maybe. They're guppies, so I think that they're probably going to be staying in a 10. I didn't stir that tank up at all. No, you didn't stir the tank up any. It was nice and clear a second ago. Are you positive about that? It was clear. Uh... And then here we have a trio of Epistogorama cacatoides. Wait, no. Epistogorama cacatoides um, trio. It's um, super red. Cool. So in here. Which tank are you going to put those in? I'm going to put them in here because that's um, a breeding cave. Okay. So the females only get big enough to fit through that hole most of the time. And they'll do good in here. I'll add a few more plants. What do you think, Jack? I don't know much about fish, so... Uh, there goes the male, right or the red one. Does he have cool coloring? He does, yeah. Sure, the female You've worn these fish. guys for a while, haven't you? Yeah, it was the first scientific name I learned, so, you know. Jeff is... I knew be a um, Nana Petite going in. Jeff and Andrew are on a live stream. Oh, nice. I'm gonna move some more mosses over here. There we go, got some more moss and some more Nubia so they have more honey spots. So look at that, you can already see the female inside the cave there. It's just poking out. She just swam back in now. I think you can see the other female right up yeah, here. Yeah, we need to clean the glass again and wait for the water to settle so we yeah. could actually see people again. Do you wanna see people? All right, who's in this last and one? And then over here, he is, oh, there he goes, is a male calico bristle nose. And um, there's the female right there. And I have not seen the male, so that's why I bought this fe this male. He's in there. Where? He's in the other cave. Are you positive? Yeah, or well, he's on the back of the field. That's usually one of the two highest spots. Yeah. If you lift that wood up, I reckon you'll see him. Probably. 
However, there's more than a hiding spots in here for him, and then he's gonna probably open another one of her females. And there you go. He has some nice coloring. He is right here. Yeah, he moved quick. Looks like a little alien. He does not look like a little alien. And now we have. He looks like a little alien spaceship. Looks like a little alien spaceship. Hmm, is that so? Alright, so where, where are those then? These what are those? are red ram's horn snails. Cool. That was my mother's only purchase today, so they're gonna go in her 90 gallon. Upstairs? Huh? Alright. Five, maybe? They're already on the ship crawling away. And now this part. Eh, well, they're so one. cute! They are so cute. I am so happy with my dollar purchase. If women think these are cute, well then we might have hope. Of course you have hope, I got married. <laughs> <laughs> they are cute. Well, we do know you have a thing So how many do you think was in there, Dave? 